Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well, in this video, we're going to go catch some red claw. We're going to tell you five best baits to use for your yabbies. And we're going to also have a catch and cook. So sit back, relax. I hope you really enjoy this video. Well, we are here again on our local home waters with Norm. How you going? And we're going to see what happens this trip. We're going to put some uh, deep, we're going to put some shallow. What's going to happen, folks? It's been out for over an hour now, so let's hope it's full. Right in the grass, we're hoping that's where they are, right, right shallow. How'd we oh, go? Good. Oh, hang on, hang on, it's got a couple in there. Got a couple? Holy moly! Oh my word, it's full, it's loaded! The heavy pots have done it! Wow! Oh my word, how many? There's over 20 in there! Yeah, and looks like they've been feeding on tilapia as well. Some tilapia mixed in with them. So, tilapia folks uh, with the stripes, you got to uh, kill them because they're noxious species. Oh my word, look how many red claw there is! Good old river pots, uh, heavy duty. This is a new design that we're working with a, a wholesaler to give you the best pots. Uh, they're black mesh, which uh, catches more and my gosh, they certainly work. The vegans in there. Here you go, folks. Red claw cam. That is loaded. The heavy duty pots, get onto them. There's that tilapia with the stripes. Uh, Got to be killed because they're noxious species. Wow, red claw cam. You can't get any closer than that. Heavy duty pots worth every cent. Best five baits for red claw fishing, freshwater crayfish fishing. Is watermelon skins. Now people say that the red claw are vegetarians, but I can tell you they are scavengers. I've seen them devour catfish totally down to the skeleton so I do tell you from experience they like eating meat as well and they are scavengers a block of cheese good old cheese there's a couple of ways you can rig these you can put a hole through the middle put a cable tie through it or just uh, cut it up into bits put it in your bait containers is cat food cat food now I can tell you, I've heard a lot of people talking about cat food really catches the big, uh, the bigger uh, red claw, especially when it's amongst the sticks and timber. Up at Somerset Dam, I've heard of a lot of uh, locals getting that uh, bigger uh, red claw uh, using catfish, uh, using cat food. But be careful of turtles. If you're, if it's in the rivers, be careful of catfish of um, of. Uh, Turtle, sorry. And another good bait, which I hear a lot of anglers doing really well for on the red claw crayfish um, in Queensland is the avocado. Good old avocado, cut it up, uh, scoop out the flesh, and put it in your bait containers. Okay, uh, another good bait for red claw fishing is the cabbage or lettuce because the um, red claw are vegetarians uh, although I will say that they will they also love meat I've seen them devour catfish down to the skeleton so they like meat okay good old mangoes tin of mangoes or get the mangoes off the tree whatever you prefer this one costs about a dollar in the shops and they got a whole stack of uh, sliced mango bits. Uh, mango is very, very good for red claw crayfish in Queensland. Okay, and another tip here, I've got some lucerne. So good old lucerne, um, I hear this is very, very, very productive, very, very good for the red claw crayfish. is rock melon. Rock melon is very, very popular with a lot of anglers and it works really, really, really well. So that's number three best baits for red claw freshwater crayfish. Number two 
is half cooked sweet potato or half cooked sweet potato. Number one, best bait for red claw freshwater crayfish fishing, and it is the good old dog biscuits. Now, the good old dog biscuits, um, you can buy them, they're pretty cheap, about five or six bucks in the shop. But the beauty about dog biscuits, it lasts three to five days, so you can leave your pots in longer. Whereas if you're using vegetables, you have to do it like the same day or the same weekend. So here, there you go guys, the best Red Claw Freshwater Crayfish Baits. And the bonus tip for today is freshwater fish flesh is outstanding during winter colder months. And uh, here, um, uh, one of our members, Mick, has uh, mixed up all the bait together. So he's got his fish flesh in there, he's got his rock melon and sweet potato, he's got dog biscuits, he's got beans, he's got avocado, uh, kiwi fruit even in there as well. So if you mix it all up and give the Red Claw Yabbies a smorgasbord, um, doesn't matter what state you're in, um, they will love it and you'll catch a lot more Yabbies. Well, first of all, I'll just mix up garlic paste, garlic pepper, pepper steak, steak seasoning, and Cajun seasoning with two tablespoons of butter. Heat that up in the microwave for about a minute and a half, and then mix it all together and throw your red claw tails in. Once the uh, butter's all melted, I'll just grab the red claw tails. These have been frozen. When you freeze them, and then defrost them. The meat comes out very easily. You just crack the shell and just peel it open, and there you can get the whole tail out in one go. So it'll only come out after you've frozen them. So chop all these in the sauce. Yeah, mix up. Uh, once you've mixed it all in, wrap it in cling wrap and chuck it in the fridge. You'll put it in there for about half an hour. That helps the mixture um, stick to the meat a bit better. So stick it in there for about half an hour. And then throw it on a bit of water and chuck it on the fire. What I do with the um, the wire is I just put little kinks in it with a pair of pliers. Just rotate it, just twist it like that. And then you just feed your meat over the top of the wire like as if you were a marshmallow. But I'll put the kinks in it to stop the meat rotating on the um, the wire. So that way just it all turns together as one when you're going when you're rotating it. So yeah, so don't forget to put your kinks in or else the meat will just sit there and um won't go anywhere, the wire will just spin inside it. So make sure you put those little kinks in. Okay, so she's about half cooked now. <clears throat> all right. So what I do I'm trying to get with one hand honey in the bowl there. Just glaze the honey over it. A lot easier with two hands. Yeah, so you get the idea. Just dab the honey over it. And cook it back on the fire. I've had that on there for probably oh, a minute, two minutes. Yeah, and then just, um, just dip it in the honey. Right. And she's ready to go back on the fire. And keep cooking that until she's golden brown. The flames look a lot worse than what they really are. Not a raging inferno.
All right, this is how she should look when you're finished. Now, obviously, it's going to be red hot, so let him cool down a bit. They are delicious, cook like that. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video, guys. If you could do me a huge favor and click the like button and also subscribe to my channel, guys. And if you get a lot out of my video content, please consider uh, donating on the thanks button down in the description of the video next to the share button because this really helps me out a great deal to allow me to bring you more videos. Stay safe guys, until next video, this is Fisherman Steve D, God bless.